So today we'll be taking a review of an older Disney store release, which is the Mood Springs Racing Tractor from 2018. So I believe it came in with the JP Dry Pack, but I'm not too sure, but credit to the original owner, by the way, for the photo. And I did also review Disney Store Chuck Armstrong in the spring. If you want to check it out, there'll be a card right above, which is the, like, which is the most overlooked Disney Store release along with Johnny Blamer. Boot Springs is also one of my favorite sponsors, and I'm so happy to review a Mood Springs member today for today's review. Speaking of Mood Springs, yes, and next year, we're getting Chuck Armstrong again for the 2025 main line, which I do like that he's coming back next year, along with some classics like Claude's Gods, Floyd Moby Hill, last but not least, Ernie Gearson. Great to see Ernie again. And I'm disappointed that it's the same artwork, same packaging since. 2022. Very disappointing. Mattel needs to step up their game. So it says Chaser Series Disney Store Root Springs Racing Tractive, which is Egg Trunkin, Cars, Darius McQueen's artwork for Cars Tree. And Disney Stores no longer exist except. For some outlets, not uh, not Chicago premium outlets, but they used to have a Disney. They used to have Disney stores around the Chicago land area, but you can find some of those Disney store cars at flea markets now, depending which condition you get. So, without further ado, let's open him up. I don't have many of them like Bubble Wheelhouse, Chase Racelot, Natalie Serta, Mater, known as Mater with Race Fan Hat. Don't have Louis Nash Jr., Pat Traxon. And I also have Ed Trunkin along with JP Drive as well. So there's a screenshot of where he appeared in the Florida 500 when Cruz has been thinking of the scene where she went through a lot of tractors and she sneaked through the window in Car Street. That was an iconic scene during the Florida 500 race. And after not only that, I was able to get him off of eBay from Get Me Collectibles, fantastic seller. Got him for thirty dollars, not too shabby price, in my opinion, but still a little expensive. So without further ado, let's review him. Here he is. Looks pretty relaxed. There's his navy blue mood springs, and reminds me of Super Mario. Abbreviation for Mario. Next gen light year tires. Tires are rubber. Disney Store, plastic mirrors, plastic pipe. I haven't reviewed a tractor in a while. The last time I reviewed the tractor was Tractor Ghost from the episode Lights Out for Cars on the Road. Nice mood springs. The base is metal. Thankfully, it's a unibody, which is great. So it's compared to a 
Ed Trunk in the Disney Store one. Ed Trunk is also one of my favorite next gens because of Mood Springs, but despite being one of my least favorite Mood Springs racers, Disney Store makes weird expressions. Not this track. I think it's a good expression as well. So here, let's get out the Disney Store Mood Springs members. Like Chuck Armstrong, which was released in a 15-pack for a gift set. Ed Trunkin. And the Mood Springs Tractor. Here they are. Let's get out the racing tractors. And using tractor, racing tractor known as Michael Moore Tractor God 2024 re-release, which is great. Man, it's been a while since I haven't reviewed a racing tractor. Last time I reviewed one was... Not Shiny Wax, not Rev and Go, or Buffer Save because they're obviously released in 2019. <coughs> I think it's the No Go Check Tractor, I believe, but I'm not too sure, but I'll have to check later. And I don't have the Rich Mixin Tractor yet, but hopefully soon. Here are all my racing tractors that I have. Seven Mattel wants and one Disney store. Which one is your favorite? My favorite would be the Noah Go Truck Tractor or the Bumper Save Tractor. But what is yours? My least favorite would be the Conrad Camber Tractor. But even though it's a super rare release, and Viewzing is also one of my least favorites. Look at that big dent he got when I was getting him out of this shelves. Let's get out the Mood Springs Racers. Banks. Chuck. Thankfully, he's getting a Thailand re-release. So, here they are. Which Mood Springs Racers is your favorite? Doug Trottleman, Banks, Chuck Armstrong, the Mood Springs Racing Tractor, or Ed Trunkin? I have to go with Chuck Armstrong because of his super rare release and Brace Damage Movement is not here today because he is somewhere safe on the shelves because he's worth like almost a thousand dollars. Add down to it for this review today on an older release. For Disney Store today. I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. And goodbye. Wait. He does not pull back. Actually.